I'm gonna react to a video from The Selfish Codependent's Life in the Netherlands. That's a whole mouthful. And the video is named 11 Things You Don't Do in the Netherlands. Tips from an expat. Okay, an expat. Okay, okay, okay. 11 Things You Don't Do in the Netherlands. So for season 2 of Amsterdam Reacts, I made a bingo card. As you can see now on the screen. I will cross this through. If there's 5 in a row, I have to do something. I don't know what. I still am in doubt. You know, I just now made this card. Maybe you have a nice idea. Let me know in the comment section of anything that should happen whenever... There will be five in a row. And what should happen when the whole card is full? Or I don't know, when it's diagonal. The full video, as always, will be linked down below in the description. Say hi to, uh, I don't know uh, what this person's name is. Her name, probably the expat. The selfish codependent's life in the Netherlands. Greetings from Tycho. And let's enjoy the video. Oh, and by the way, if you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee. Without coffee, I cannot make videos. Coffee makes me, you know, happy. Gives me energy. Keeps me going in life. And if you want, you can also become a member of my channel. I just now started doing this. So some videos will be private just for you members and making this member program will help me, you know, to sustain this all. So yeah, you can support me by pressing like and slash or buying me a coffee and slash or becoming a member of my channel. Hey, I moved to Holland. Okay. What? Did I say anything wrong? <sighs> Another uneducated one moved here. In order not to sound like this expert, let's find out what we should never do or say in the Netherlands. Number one, don't call the Netherlands Holland. Holland is the name of only two Dutch provinces, North and South Holland, while there are 10 more provinces in addition to these two. So if you don't want to disregard more than half of the kingdom, please refer to this country as the Netherlands. That is true, but also the Dutch people themselves call this place Holland a lot. So there's even this program, like I said in one of my other videos, I love Holland, ik hou van Holland. Holland is, you know, it's just it became like slang. You understand? But yeah, if you want, want to be really, you know, nitpicky, Holland indeed. There are two provinces, North and South Holland. Amsterdam is in North Holland, Rotterdam is in South Holland, etc, etc, etc. But okay, 11 things you don't do in Netherlands. So yeah, no, that's that's good. That's good. I agree. Let's continue. 10 more to go. Number two, don't stand on the bike lane. When my parents visited me, I always stopped them before the bike lane and encouraged them to look to the left and to the right before crossing it. It's just not something for... Encourage them. Okay. You can do it, daddy. Look to the left and to the right. To the left, to the left. I usually think about because other countries are not as bicycle friendly as the Netherlands. Wait, but she says her parents, when her it's not something parents usually think about. Because other countries are not as we think about. Something foreigners usually think about. Oh, foreigners, okay, but I thought she said parents. I always stop them before the when my parents visited me. I always Okay, so her parents visited her. But then foreigners, okay. To the yeah. right before crossing it. It's just not something foreigners usually think about because other countries are not as bicycle friendly as the Netherlands is. I live in Eindhoven. We don't get the same tourist influx as Amsterdam, but I can totally imagine that it's annoying to bump into a nonchalant tourist standing on the bike lane when you're rushing to work. Standing on the bike lane in the Netherlands is the same as standing in the middle of a highway. Number three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is also very good. That's something I always say. To the people as a cyclist myself it's like it's like a little life lesson you know you see a cyclist coming at full speed we will not try to hit you but we will we'll show you who's the boss here on the bicycle road actually made a whole video about this you can watch it over here where i'll explain a little bit more the traffic hierarchy don't be late the dash will give you the heads up even if they run only one or two minutes late at work we have our morning stand up at 8 42 yes not 40 not 45 42. If it's 8.43 and one of my colleagues is missing, my boss starts calling them in, asking what's up and why they are not on time. I'm so used to it by now that even in personal settings, if I'm running five minutes late, I'm gonna let another person know. I get mad if my friend is running late and they haven't let me know because to me, it shows disrespect to my time. And I sense that a lot of Dutchies think the same way. And is that something really Dutch or is it something that also happens in your culture? Let me know in the comment section down below. Well, till now it's, you know, pretty good things. It's not anything from the bingo card. So very good, very good. All right, only because you're the customer. There is a phrase in the Netherlands. The client is konig, so lang the klant zich konig like gedracht. This means that the client is not always right. If a client is not behaving properly, as a seller, you have the right to turn them down and send them away. You don't just have to suck it in because they are the customer. The Dutch approach really resonates with me personally because I do believe in treating people well and respectful regardless of 
who they are. Number five, don't come unannounced. The Dutch plan carefully and won't appreciate it if you come unannounced. They value and respect their time. Most probably they were already doing something and your visit hijacked it. This is considered rude and disrespectful. I remember my ex's mom could come uninvited to his place and I remember him saying that this is not typical Dutch but she was doing it because they were living in a small village and there it was more acceptable. A long time ago I reacted to another video and this was also being said right there and it's kind of true. I had this friend from Africa, well at least he was born there, born and raised there and he always showed up unannounced. Um, I said that in the other video. And it was indeed, you know, something we had to get used to. If you're watching this video as a Dutch, please let us know if it indeed varies depending on the city size. I'm curious. Let us know in the comments. Let us know. So who's the other person? Now you're asking the right question, shit stick. Number six. Don't go by car if you can use a bicycle. The Dutch cycle everywhere, even if it's raining. Okay, if it's a heavy storm, they might reconsider. But if it's just drizzling or medium heavy rain, they are completely fine to cycle. Medium heavy rain? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Friend of mine was dating an American lady who wanted to go everywhere by car. To him it felt like she was just not reasonable to want to go to a restaurant in the city center by car while it only takes 10 minutes to cycle there. To me a car feels more convenient if it's raining, if it's cold, if I'm carrying heavy things or if I'm going to a fancy place and I'm wearing a silk dress for example. Number seven. I'm just a little bit thinking now she's sitting on a stairway here, right? It's going somewhere these, these stairs. It's not just a art or a wallpaper. No, she's sitting on the stairs. Okay, number seven. Don't invite a Dutch person for a late dinner. The Dutch have dinner really early. My friend lives in France and she has dinner at 8 p.m. While I have dinner at... 5.36, so immediately after work. If you invite a Dutcher to dinner at 8, they will likely say, hey, it's a bit too late for me, let's just do drinks. They might order snacks, but not full on dinner. I researched why it's the case. Typical, 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 typical Dutch people, not me. I don't know, I'm much, way too much influenced now by a lot of other cultures. As a kid, we used to eat at 6, I think, 6.37. But I don't know anyone that's like, oh, I'm not gonna eat at 8. I guess maybe the people out of the big cities. Apparently, the reason for is that the Dutch like to leave time for hobbies in the evening. I can recognize this. The Dutch have tons of hobbies and interests. In a lot of countries, people turn 40 and stop being interested in anything except for snacks in front people of... People turn 40 and stop being interested in anything. Is that what she said? Except for snacks. Okay, okay. Is that really true in a lot of countries? Let me know in the comment section down below. I don't believe it, actually. In the Netherlands, you see a happy 80-year-old cycling around or doing Nordic walking. Number eight. Yeah, that's true. Don't talk down to kids. I noticed that the Dutch talk to their kids on the same level. In some countries the approach is kids should be told, not listened to. But in the Netherlands it's more like, tell me, what would you like to have for lunch? Yes, you're my child, but you're a separate human being with your own opinion and I'd like to learn your opinion. A UNICEF report analyzed 41 high-income countries and found that children in the Netherlands had the highest sense of well-being. In plain English, Dutch children are the happiest in the world. All right, that's interesting. Place went to Denmark, then Norway and Switzerland. There are a lot of reasons for the Dutch kids being the happiest, like non-competitive schooling, parenting style, etc. What stood out to me is how the Dutch talk to their kids. As the Dutch are known to be direct, they openly talk to their kids about topics that might seem uncomfortable in other countries. It's so important because shame is damaging for kids. Nine, don't do overtime. In the Netherlands, you're not expected to do overtime. No. That's Japan. In Japan, you are expected to do overtime. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the Netherlands got ranked number three for work-life balance in the world. In the Netherlands, it's very common to work part-time. People prioritize family time or time they devote to leisure or personal... Okay, so this is just something she's reading now, because you hear it also in the voice, eh? reading from a piece of paper. ...don't care as much or sometimes even more as they prioritize work. Number 10. Don't beat around the bush. The Dutch are direct. If they sense that you're vague or non-genuine, they're gonna call you out on it. In the party, I witnessed a scene where Dutch was like, so, I'm confused. Do you want to do it or not? Just tell me. Yeah, that's something that I would say. That's something... I do say, just tell me. Are you pressing that like button or not? Just tell me. There are definitely cases of Dutch bluntness that made me uncomfortable, but I am a direct person by nature, so I appreciate direct and no BS people. 
there is just a fine line between being direct and rude in my opinion. No BS people. Yeah, good. Some slang here in between. 11. Don't invite the Dutch for extensive lunch. <laughs> it's almost a rhyme. I'm a poet. <laughs> The Dutch are not the type of people who would like to have a three-course meal for lunch. They want to have something quick, satisfy their hunger and continue working. What's the quickest and most efficient way to do that? Is have sandwiches. My ex is Dutch and he took it a little bit too far, even according to Dutch standards. He would have six sandwiches, but it would be a piece of bread, a slice of meat, a piece of bread. This is one. A piece of bread, a slice of cheese, a piece of bread. This is two bread peanut butter bread this is three and six variations of this <laughs> i'm telling you it's all about efficiency so that's 12 slices of bread right big sandwich eater half a loaf of bread okay See how? oh that's the end of the video i didn't expect that these were 11 things already uh so pretty good pretty good because i expected actually i thought beforehand this video was going to be you know 11 things and then a lot of them would be here on this bingo card i made but none of them were right so no that's very good i'm pleasantly surprised actually very good whatever your name is the selfish codependent life in the netherlands i saw a lot of shots i didn't know where it was so it's probably in eindhoven there's a little little airport uh, over there as well and sometimes when i'm going to malta it's cheaper to fly from eindhoven but then the train from amsterdam to eindhoven is sometimes more expensive than the airplane ticket from eindhoven to malta so that's funny <laughs> No, it's not so fun. No, so yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised and um, I'm wondering what my cat's Momo Yuki think of this. Now what's up with all those random shots of her doing yoga? This video has nothing to do with yoga. Why did we see her drink coconuts on the beach? Meow. What madness made her put all those holiday shots in this video? Meow. Alrighty then, thank you Momo for that awesome response and thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's something that you want me to react to or you can email me at tigalfromamsterdam at gmail.com it doesn't have to be Amsterdam related, it can be anything that you want me to react to. That you think like, hey, this is fun, this is nice. Maybe some video you made yourself. I don't know. Let me know and I'll see you in the next video.